I love to go to the gym. That's kind of taking care of my mental health is uh, kind of letting out some steam at the gym. I like to spend time with my family, my dogs, and watch movies and just kind of chill on the weekends. One in five persons deals with a mental health or substance use disorder, and that's the U.S. That's a lot of people. That's, you know, 20% of the population. And it could be something that lasts for a week, or it could be something that's a lifelong struggle. I think that is a very surprising statistic which tells you that these types of things are very common. They are in every community, at every level. And I think that we need to quit brushing things under the rug and pretending like they don't exist because they're very real. I will tell you that in over in 20 years I've done this, I have seen it get better. I've seen it improve. And more people, and I think the younger generations kind of get it, and they understand that mental health is a priority, and that substance use disorders and addiction is a disease that is treatable, but that it needs medical care, like any other illness. I do see that changing a whole lot, and it, it just gives me a good feeling to know that maybe eventually we can eradicate the stigma. I saw today uh, in our community meeting, they asked what we thought growth meant. And some people said, well, it's increasing population or you know, new programs and services. I see growth as progress, and to me, progress in the community is the reduction of stigma. That is very important that people are less afraid to seek services or help when they need it. And let's face it, we're social creatures that we need to rely on each other. I think it's addressing stigma and reducing stigma is very important. People can achieve recovery at any level, at any time of their lives. And it may take someone 10 times before they actually achieve that. But there is no shame in that, of picking yourself up and trying again. And one thing I think that is very important about the work that we do is that we don't judge people for maybe it didn't work that time. We want them to come back and try again. And we want to support them and be there. We don't want to be that critical eye or that voice that gives them any doubt. We want to give that person hope and instill that hope. And I think that is, that's the message I think that is important to share.